We are here today at the Institute of Chartered Engineers here in London to recognise the work that the fantastic volunteers do. Our sport is delivered by so many volunteer-run clubs and other organisations around the country. So it's really important we recognise the work of these volunteers. Today, Princess Anne is coming to award the presentations to the volunteers. We've also got a fantastic lunch where the volunteers will be able to chat to one another, also chat to our RYA staff, um, and really enjoy a good day out here in London. I look at all the sailing clubs that I've belonged to, and it's, it is all volunteers. And without people's passion, um, you really, you know, it wouldn't be where we are today. So, yeah, and, and it starts off at grassroots level. And I think we probably ought to move on to the awards um, to make sure that those individuals really are recognised, uh, um, each and every one of them, for what they've been doing to help the RYA be in this extraordinary position that it is both professionally as a membership organisation, which sets a standard that I think very few others can meet. So thank you. Personally, I felt very elated, but I also thought it was a reflection on the other volunteers within the club and, the, and the, everybody's efforts. It's, you know, it's a team, team effort always, and it's not just to one individual. I think it's important to recognise people's um, the effort they put in. There's a lot of volunteers put a hell of a lot of time into clubs and without the volunteers the clubs wouldn't exist. I feel this is just not just for me but it's for my family because it's it's taken over our lives in a way but yeah everybody's enjoyed it. We've, we are a sailing family so it's been really good. I must admit I didn't realise that I was actually nominated for this until I got the letter through so I was I was over the moon with it really. Uh, I didn't really think anything of what I did at the Yoko, I didn't think that was above and beyond what I, I should be doing. It was quite strange to be sat there with all these absolute veterans of the sport, but it was nice, it was nice, it was a good experience. And so Project Scaramouche is a self-funding uh, youth sailing project from our school, Greg City Academy, uh, which is the first, we believe, the first state school in London to have a sailing club. So the project is one where the boys uh, decided they wanted to do sailing. Uh, we facilitated that down in Paul Harbour. And then as they became more experienced and more competent, they started to do more racing. And then having done that, they decided that we would buy a larger boat and try and enter a really big yacht race, which was a fast night race. For people from our background, it's something that we never thought we'd be doing in the, in the past. So sailing breaks down a lot of barriers in life, so, and which we experience and which we um, take on very on in our life. I think it is important because they do it for you know for, for themselves and for other people and I think they do deserve the recognition. I do what I do at the club, it's mainly just for fun and I you know I wasn't expected to get any kind of recognition for it. Um, and I just thoroughly enjoy doing it. After the initial shock, um, it was definitely an honour, but it was never felt like a personal award. It was, it was translated to the club's effort, effortless general and the whole team behind us. Well, today has been about celebrating all the people, volunteers for the most part, who help our great sport. We need volunteers, why? Most of our work is done in clubs. Clubs are basically the heart of most sports. And in saying that, it's very true. The clubs we deal with mostly are the heart of a community, a maritime community, a, a leisure community, a, a, an area where people can get together, socialise, as well as enjoy the love of their sport.